In a recent video, we talked about the benefits of magnesium for your body. Did you watch it? Magnesium is an essential mineral necessary for maintaining good health. It is part of many body functions, from regulating the nervous function to alleviating muscle pain and heartburn, preventing osteoporosis, and controlling blood sugar levels. Since it is necessary for so many body functions, low magnesium levels can lead to serious diseases, such as diabetes and heart disease. According to recent studies, low magnesium levels are associated with hypertension and a high risk of strokes and heart disease. According to a study by researchers from the Erasmus University Medical Center, Netherlands, magnesium deficiency can increase the risk of death by coronary heart disease and sudden heart arrest. Did you know that just a small increase in magnesium levels can save a person from these risks? According to experts from the Journal of the American Heart Association, magnesium protects the body against heart disease, reducing the inflammation associated with atherosclerosis or the hardening of arteries. Magnesium also improves blood circulation and regulates blood pressure. As we saw in a recent video about hypertension, the disease is a risk factor for heart diseases. A recent study published in the Diabetes Research and Clinical Practice found that low magnesium levels are related to diabetes and hypertension. Both conditions can aggravate the risk of developing heart disease. When we talk about diabetes, researchers observe that diabetic people tend to have low magnesium levels or are more prone to magnesium deficiency than non-diabetics. A study done by researchers from the Federal University of Bahia, Brazil, found that 75% of people with type 2 diabetes have a magnesium deficiency. Some studies indicate that magnesium plays a role in the pathogenesis of diabetes, affecting insulin sensibility. According to clinical trials, low magnesium levels are associated with a higher risk of insulin resistance, a precursor of type 2 diabetes. Insulin resistance happens when there is too much sugar in the blood. The pancreas responds by releasing more insulin to induce cells to absorb the sugar in the blood. But with time, the cells become resistant to insulin and stop responding to it. Magnesium is necessary for using glucose and for signaling insulin. For this reason, metabolic changes in cellular magnesium can lead to insulin resistance, which in turn contributes to the development of type 2 diabetes. Enjoying the video? Then give it a like and share it with your friends. You can also contribute to the channel through the thanks button. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of any new videos. What can we do to increase magnesium intake? Magnesium deficiency has been deeply studied due to its potential link with diabetes and heart diseases, but this deficiency can affect all the body systems. Someone with low serum magnesium levels can experience a wide range of symptoms, such as tremors, muscle spasms, cramps and tingling, depression, nervousness, tension, insomnia, convulsions, high blood pressure, hypertension, and accelerated heartbeats. Having low magnesium levels can lead to low calcium and potassium levels because magnesium deficiency disturbs the mineral homeostasis in the body. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, HHS, adults should ingest around 310 to 420 milligrams of magnesium per day to avoid deficiency. To learn what your magnesium level is, ask your doctor for a blood test. It is worth mentioning that magnesium supplementation should be prescribed by a doctor or nutritionist since the recommended dose varies according to the cause of your deficiency. If you want to increase your consumption of foods rich in magnesium, try beans and lentils, oats, whole wheat, brown rice, avocado, banana, and kiwi, broccoli, pumpkin, and leafy greens like collard greens and spinach, pumpkin and sunflower seeds, almonds, hazelnuts, Brazil nuts, cashew nuts, and peanuts are other sources of magnesium, milk, yogurt, and other byproducts, as well as coffee, meat, and chocolate. So, did you like learning how magnesium can reverse diabetes and heart disease? Do you know what your magnesium levels are? If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.